I'm Carl Gibson, I'm Rashad Car Wheel Lines, we're here in sunny Leeds, Yorkshire, God's country, now Marcella Bielsa. And this is we're at uh, LHA Car and Commercial in Rothwell, great place. And this is Mark, the owner, and today we're going to show you how to use a Shark Eye Twin Steer Laser Aligner. Keep tuned. Right, first laser head on, show you how to do it. This one's for camber, these two bottom ones are for tug. Right, you want your rim buttons up against it, pull it out a bit, just make sure it's on, make sure it's tall. As I said, two bottom ones are for tow, that top one's for camber. Make sure we're even on that, make sure the spirit level's right. Turn it on, all good to go on this side. Obviously, same again on this side, they've got some mirror, so same procedure. Rim buttons, bottom third of the wheel. Spirit level straight. Make sure they're up against it. Switch on. Get a bit straight. And we're nearly ready to roll. Put on the first drive axle. Presuming on modern trucks that basically the axles are straight, you know, the pins, they don't go anywhere. So, that is a presumption for these. If you go into, you haven't looked at it, this video should show you how to get the readings from it. Obviously there's other videos that will show you how to do the problems, rear axles and stuff like that. So if that's what you're after. Just scroll through and find them, but this video is just to show you how to use it. So, yeah. Rim buttons on the rim. Make sure it's straight. And now we can go back to getting a tow reading. Cameraman's going to kill himself. <laughs> Right, just so you're going to get up in the truck, have you? Yeah. You've got all that. Gauges on, all set up, basically, rear flags on. This is how you get your first reading. It's a bit counterintuitive, but I'll show you how it's done. Come this way, definitely. What you've got to do, <clears throat> you've got to move the steering wheel, so you rotate the steering wheel until the rear flags are equal with laser beams. So 6, 6, 10, 10, 5, 5. The reading is arbitrary, it doesn't matter, but they have to be equal, and that will give you a tow. So we've already done this one. We've got six aside, and that's six aside. So I've got six on this side, six on the near side. So as I say, both the same. I'll reiterate it again, because it is quite important. You won't get a reading without it. So they have to be that. Steering wheel is set last. You can set it by the top top of the box, you know, not the huge half of the box, put it back on once you've done it. If it's got a steering angle sensor, do it by the pitman arm. But that's, we'll do that in another video. But this is how we get the tow. So the tow on this is, we've got four red, 4.5 red on this one. And on the other side, we have green 4.5. Show them, show them, other tax cards, that's it. Can you see it? Right, so that's it, I'll say I reiterate, this is the tow on this vehicle. It's not towing out, it is out, which the tyres reflect how far it's out. It's not majorly out. It's not, it's not like that single steer one that we showed you a while back where it's actually tearing the tyres off. This one needs setting, it, it will take the tyres after a while, but five, 
five red, five green. When it goes down the road, it'll be near a parallel. So it is our quiet thing. But the target is we're after, as we've said before, we're after zero, zero, or anything after under three. So we'll get the, what we'll do now, we'll get the second steers on. We'll show you how to get the reading from them as well. Okay. Right, just to recap, we've done, we've set the gauge up, you've got the reading using the rear flag, we've done the caster swing, basically so that, as I say, with the caster swing that needs to be done, now we're going to get the second steer reading, so this is quite important on a twin steer like this, so, second steer mirrors. On the second steers, as per front, make sure they're on. Make sure we've got reflection. Right, we ain't got reflection. The rear we ain't got reflection. This is what you get with trucks, and this is why you've got the the rim button extensions that come with it. Some trucks like Scania's, you have an indented wheel. You know, basically this is a high now, so these are in parallel. Obviously, the way the gauges are done, you know, this sticks out a bit further. Otherwise, you're going to so this is what we do to get around this. We put the extensions on the front heads. This is why you're paying so much money for our kit. It's all lovely machined and well thought out. They're all precision rim buttons. Now what we're gonna do, what Evan's gonna do, is put the rim button extensions in so that we can get a reading on the second steers. Right, as you saw, as you saw, just finger tight, there's no need to rival them all, you're not trying to break it, you're not entering any strongman competitions, you need to get them back off. Just finger tight on it, so you get it back on, the same way as before. Make sure they're on, they're done. Again, make sure that your spirit level's in the right place. We've got exactly the same reading that we had before. We've got four, and now, and now it's reflecting onto the rear mirror. Now the rear mirror reflects back on to these rear tow scales here. As you can see, we've got three positive on this. See the laser, there, three positive. Now what we wanna do, obviously, we're not just tracking one side of a truck. We'll go around the other side, and we'll check on that one as well. Me and Evan's worked together for over 20 years, so he's on it, you know. So as you can see, we've got the same configuration, reflecting back onto the mirror and onto that left reel tow scale that says left wheel on it. And as you can see with that one, we're quite a way out. So the, the second steer wheels are towing into each other. They're not parallel, they're in, and they're not following the fronts either. So the fronts, as I say, need resetting a bit. They're a bit off, but not too much. But the second steers are doing that. Now that's what's giving this truck the tire wear on this one, especially this tire here. So all the friction is on this left front tire. Unlike the fronts, there's no, there's no tolerance with the second steers. The second steers have to be set to zero. So I said when the fronts, anything under three, you're not going to get tire wear. Second steers, completely different kettle of fish zero if you can't set it to zero you, you need to look at it again because you need there's just do it you just get it to zero otherwise you're gonna end up with problems and that's how you get a reading from shark eye hgv twin steer wheel liners